Welcome to Side Hustle Rules. My name is Lou Reyes. And today, I'm going to be talking about a topic that is near and dear to my heart. Fear of failure. And I say it's near and dear to my heart because I just had a long conversation with one of my business clients, a new business client. I had her in the interview process. We're going over what she wants to do, what her goals are. I wanted to really get a feel for what she was really looking to do, and in my opinion, if she was somebody who could could actually achieve those goals. And one thing that came up in that process was her fear of failure. You know, here's a person who's got decades of experience. She's got skills. She's got knowledge. And she actually has drive. She wants to really achieve. She's tired of working for somebody else. So we're talking and she says, yeah, Lou, I have fear of failure. I'm worried that I'm not going to, I'm not going to, this isn't going to work out for me. So I proceeded to tell her a story, which I'm going to be relating to you here today. A story that I learned a long time ago, heard a long time ago from a, a gentleman, a guy who actually took a business from nothing, and he used fear of failure as fuel to motivate him to grow his his small little retail business into a giant, into a behemoth. So we're going to be talking about how to use fear of failure to build a remarkable career. And this is applicable to whether or not you're looking to to change jobs, but you're afraid to do it. Or maybe you're looking to start a brand new business. So we're going to be talking about fear of failure. And that, my friends, that's up next right here on Side Hustle Rules. Come on. Welcome back to Side Hustle Rules. My name is Lou Reyes. I'm so happy to be here. So happy that you're here today. Today, we're going to be talking about fear of failure. And as I mentioned before the break, this uh, this topic came up, this concept actually came up when I was working with, with a client, actually a couple of different clients, and some of the things that they said related to fear of failure. They're just worried that they're starting their business, and they're wondering if they can do it, and they're worried about it. And I started thinking about a story, which I relayed to them, and I'm going to relate to you right now. And the story, I think, is something that is so appropriate because it just shows you what you can do when you overcome fear of failure. And it starts out, I was, as a publisher of a chain of business-to-business magazines, which I think most of you out there, if you watch my videos, either here on Side Hustle Rules or over on Over 50 TV, my other YouTube channel, you know that at one point, at one time, I I launched, I started a business publication, which grew into a chain of business-to-business papers. I had a weekly newspaper, trade show business, radio program. I did all that. Yeah, I did all that. But what happened is one day during my radio show, I had the opportunity to interview a a man, a guy who owned three office supply stores. And they were nice size office supply stores. And he was getting a lot of press. A lot of people were talking about him and jabbering about him and saying that this guy is going to build something great. And, you know, yeah, that's that's cool. I, I believe all that. I did believe all that, actually. So we had him on my show, had him on my radio show. And just start talking to him and talked about what he was doing, how he was doing it, what his plans were. And you know what? At the end of the program it was 20 minutes long. I think it was about 20 minutes. At the end of the 20 minutes, I thought, I'm gonna I want to see this guy again. I'm gonna talk to him. So I arranged to meet him. We got together at his office to go to lunch. So we got in his jag and he was driving the car. And I remember we're going to the restaurant, and I'm thinking, I'm not going to waste a minute of my time. I want to talk to him. I want to hear what he has to say. I want to get every, I want to wring every ounce of knowledge out of him. So while we're driving, I said, Well, you know, tell me what you're doing. You know, what are your plans? And he says, Lou, I've got these three office supply stores, as you know, but I'm going to build it into a billion dollar company. And I remember when he said that, I'm sitting next to him and I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, sure you are. I'm thinking this, but of course I wouldn't say that to him. But I was thinking it. I was thinking, you're not going to build this into a billion dollar company. You got three office supply stores and one part of, of town and that's it. But he was pretty focused and he was adamant and he was definitely determined to do it. I could just tell by driving. So then I said something to him, which I, his answer I've never forgotten. I said, I said, Mike, I said, Mike, his name is Michael, Michael Foyer. I said, Mike, what 
motivates you? What motivates you to do this? And he just looked down, you know, his the steering wheel, looks down, looks up, looks over at me for a brief second, looks forward, and he just says, fear of failure. And I thought, fear of failure? And it's something, it was a concept, it was an idea, something I'd read a, a little, probably a few months before that, maybe even a year or so before that, on a book called In Search of Excellence. It was the business book back in its day. One of the chapters, I think, was titled Fear of Failure. So when he said fear of failure, I thought, yeah, you know what? That's pretty, pretty interesting. Fear of failure. So we're driving, when we get to the restaurant, we're talking more. And I remember he was eating his soup and he never looked up, never looked up once. Just kept looking and, and focused and talking while he was eating. And at the end of the meeting, at the end of the lunch, he drove, we drove back to his, his business and the sign on the business said, Office Max. And I thought, man, I, I drove away and I looked at that and I said, Office Max, you know, well, let's see what that's going to turn out to be. Well, as most of you know out there, I'm sure every one of you know out there, Office Max turned into a huge national company. And one day, one day, I remember reading that he sold that company, to, I believe it was to Kmart, the old Kmart, if you remember that company. He sold it to Kmart for over $1 billion, and I believe that was the valuation. And I thought, when I read that, I thought, Michael Foyer, he lived his dream. He built that billion-dollar company. He built it. And you know why he built it? Because he was determined. He used fear of failure as a motivator, as something to drive him, to push him to be successful. It's fear of failure that holds so many people back. Whether you want to start a business or whether you want to quit your job and start a new career. And at Over 50 TV, one of the things that I do, and as, as you know, if you watch the channel at all, hopefully you do, is I work with people over 50. I, I give career advice to people who are over 50 years old because what I find is many of those folks at a point in their life, they realize that they're not going to go anywhere, that there's got, their ageism is going to hold them back, their boss is going to hold them back, that HR department doesn't give a damn about them. So sooner or later, they're gonna, they realize that there is nothing left for them to do except to kowtow, to do whatever the boss says, and one day retire. But some of them, some of them go on to start a business. And that's why actually I started Side Hustle Rules. For those people who don't want to let fear of failure hold them back, to those people who say, you know what, I can do more than I'm doing and I'm determined to do it. And you could tell by this conversation, it, you know, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit animated and maybe because I know how overcoming fear of failure can help you to be successful, how overcoming fear of failure can help you to be happy with your life and find fulfillment because you'll be doing the things that you've been fearing, the things that you thought you couldn't do. And you'll be able to go to the places that you, you just didn't think you could ever go. So my thought is this. You can be someone who uses fear of failure to not push ahead, to not grow yourself, to grow your life, to grow your business, if that's what you decide to do. You can use fear of failure to not do the things that you know you can do. Or you can be like Mike Foyer over at Office Max, and you can use that fear of failure to drive you, to push you, to motivate you, to go ahead and do the things that you're capable of doing. So yeah, I, I we never, I've never forgotten that 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 time with Mike Foyer. But you know what? He understood what you needed to do to be successful. So I'm going to just ask you again: Do you want to be worrying every single day about your job? Are you going to want to not start that business because you're just worried you're fearing failure? Well, failure is going to happen, my friend. It happened to me more than once, but you got to keep pushing. You got to keep plowing ahead. But are you going to be that person that worries or are you going to be the Mike Foyer? You don't have to be like Mike, but you can certainly act like Mike. Get over your fear of failure and just do it. Well, that's all I got for you today, my friends. That is all I've got for you today. I think that's enough probably, isn't it? Well, one thing I will ask you to do is to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to Side Hustle Rules. And if you've got a thought and, you're, and you, you think, hey, I'm going to subscribe to Over 50 TV, you're going to hear me on Over 50 TV really talking about more on the on the job front, more talking, giving, giving job tips, career tips. You'll find that over there. Here on Side Hustle Rules, though, 
I'm going to work with you. I'm going to help you to start that business. I'm going to show you how to start it and scale it up. Now, I do have a free side hustle starter kit in the description box. You can click on the link. It's free. Now, I also have a channel on Patreon. It's called Side Hustle Rules Pro. And on there, what I do is I, I go live as much as I can. I've actually launched that fairly recently and fairly just determined I'm going to use that to connect more with people who need advice, who want advice, who want to move ahead. But I also go one-on-one -on -one with folks. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, um, I do work with no more than five people a month. And even then, I think five people is the max I can work with. But I'm, I, I do work with five people a month. Send me an email, lou at sidehustlerules.com. We can talk, uh, communicate, see if it's something that you want to do. If I feel like I can work with you, I can help you, then, then we'll, we'll talk about that. I do charge for that. Just want to let you know that. But anyways, you can always email me, we can go over, email me and we can go over the details. So again, that's all I got for you. I want to thank you for watching Side Hustle Rules and have a great day, everybody. Come on!